Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. So I just did an Instagram video about an item I sold and I'm kind of having seller's remorse, not buyer's remorse. Like I didn't buy it and wished I wouldn't have. I sold it and I wish I wouldn't have because it's so cute. It's this little sloth puppet. Oh my goodness, go to my Instagram, bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers and you guys will see why. I should have kept this little sloth. It is so cute. Anyway, we are going to have a bolo video. This is a category video. It is, we're going to call it office supplies. It's kind of a broad range of items, but they're items you can typically find in an office or in a desk or you'll see what I mean. All right, let's get started. All right. Um, the first item. So these are items to be on the lookout for, items you can typically buy low and sell high. So this first lot is a pretty big lot. Um, but again, I feel like these are items that, you know, at estate sales, they kind of overlook. And you might be able to get a whole box of stuff like this for like five bucks. Now, personally, I probably would have parted this out, but this seller decided to lot it up and sell it for $111.50, which is still fantastic because I'm guessing they probably didn't have very much in this lot. So definitely a bolo, but they may have gotten more had they um, parted it out. But who knows? Maybe not. All right. The next item is this vintage scotch tape dispenser, which I just thought was really cool. Um, it only sold for $39.05. But again, probably an item you can pick up, you know, for five bucks or less at garage sale, thrift store, estate sale. So $39.05, it had 35 bids and the buyer paid shipping on that. So really cool. I wonder how it works. It's kind of interesting. Anybody ever used one of these? All right, moving on. The next item are these vintage Sanford's Expo dry erase markers. Now I'm guessing that because these are vintage, they probably do not work that maybe somebody wants them for like, um, just like the advertising or maybe a movie set, who knows? But um, yeah, they sold for $27 plus shipping, but it says all markers are in great working order. So I don't know, that's surprising to me because usually things dry out, but yeah, super cool bolo. All right, these 12 black wing vintage Eberhard Faber, Faber, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, pencils, and it says 602 with original box and advertising. If you guys see these, look at the strange erasers, okay? That's how you're going to remember them. See how strange they are? These pencils sold for $2,025. There's only 12 in the pack, you guys. Amazing. I want to look at what they started it at. So they started the auction at $150. And you guys can see, like, there were, let's see, eight unique bidders and 26 bids. I have a lot of people that ask me how I know that. So you just click on it and go in here and you can see uh, the number of bidders, how many bids, and you can kind of look at the bid history. Now, you have to click Show Automatic Bids if you want to see the ones in between. So that is pretty amazing. Here is another pack. There's only 11 in this pack and the box is not as fancy. Uh, were those other 602? Yeah, so these are 602 also, which I don't know what 602 means. But uh, these, on these only sold for $760, so... <laughs> $760 for some pencils. Are you kidding me? 54 bids on this. Let's see what they started it at. And I'm not going to check all of the starting prices, but when it goes this high, I just kind of am, am very curious. If it opens, come on. Doesn't want to open. That's odd. Waiting for eBay, it says. Come on, eBay. Come on, eBay. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this one started at $9.99. I wonder if the seller had any clue. And you can see here, um, 
the person that won had 595 feedback, 11 bidders, and 54 bids. That is amazing. This item is a lot of 15 vintage advertising bullet pencils. Now these only went for $57, but again, I feel like it's something you can pick up pretty cheap when you're out uh, sourcing. It's another thing that you can maybe pick up at estate sales and stuff like that, and maybe get one or two here and there, and then you can save them and lot them up. Or if it's the right advertising on it, you could sell one, you know, like there's a John Deere. They may have been able to sell that by itself because people collect John Deere items. So yeah, sold for $57, 38 bids with plus shipping. The next item is this Vintage Transformers G1 1985 pen and pencil holder. Odd ball items. I, look at this. First order toy company. I buy toy collections. Best price paid. Price is paid. So they want to buy your toys and then put them on eBay. I'm surprised they put that there. So I wonder if they're trying to source from other eBayers. That's very odd. Anybody seen anything like that? Uh, anyway, this sold for $102.50 with 25 bids. And that's, yeah, first order toy company. Maybe they do consignment. I don't know. Let's see. I, bo I buy toy collections. No collection is too large or small. Message me with what you have and I'll make you a fair offer. Huh. Interesting. Hopefully they're doing the sale on eBay because I'm sure eBay wouldn't like that. I bet they are. All right. The next item is this Art Deco Bakelite Electro Pointer Pencil Sharpener. I didn't know such a thing existed. This sold for $228.50 with 27 bids plus shipping. So pencil sharpeners can be Bakelite. And if you want to know how to test Bakelite, I have a video on that. And I don't know if it's Bakelite or Bakelite. I always say Bakelite, but I might be saying it wrong. That would not surprise me. But anyway, I do know how to test it. So I do have a video on that if anyone's interested. Okay, so this is a Venus Esterbrook Paradise color by number coloring sets, pencils and animals. So you can see here, I don't know if it's, it says used, but those, I don't know. Anyway, it sold for $75 with 23 bids plus shipping. Uh, paint by number is also, can be a bolo. So this is a rare vintage 1930s Dixon Mickey Mouse paper top box. It's like a pencil box. Super cute. Sold for $175.50. 22 bids and the buyer paid shipping and it is in excellent condition considering it's from the 1930s. Trying to see how they know it's from the 1930s. I don't see a date. Maybe it says it right here. I zoomed in. Nope. I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to research that. I love that little Mickey Mouse eraser. So cute. The next item is this vintage, um, it's a Hello Kitty uh, pencil case, but I don't, it says little twin stars. We enjoy helping each other do our studies. This sold for $93 with 21 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The Beatles pencil case looks like a money bag, kind of, uh, like from the bank. Sold for $112.50, but 20 bids plus shipping. This is really cool. These are from the 1930s. They're Walt Disney school supply set, pencil sharpeners, and measuring tape. How cool is that? Oh my goodness, so old. 1930s. These went for $142.49. And the buyer paid shipping. So cool. The next item is this vintage rainbow stationery, eight stationery and eight envelopes, eight additional plain envelopes, $76, seven bids, buyer paid shipping. Stationery is hit and miss. You've got to find like the right pattern that somebody wants, but some of it can definitely be a bolo, but um, like a big money bolo like this, or 
you can get bread and butter, but still a great item to sell. Here's another one, vintage Hallmark boxed stationery. Sold for $65 with four bids and the buyer paid the shipping. So very cool. This Kiss um, folder, and it even has writing in it. This sold for $270.99 plus shipping. I did a video on Kiss items. If you guys have not seen that, definitely go check it out. Kiss band items go for big bucks. So this is a folder, like a paper school folder that went for $270.99. Here's another one. This is Dukes of Hazard. It's a school folder also. Dukes of Hazard also does well. I have a video on that somewhere. It's a really old video. Um, but this sold for $27 with 11 bids and the buyer paid shipping. So $27 for an old school folder is pretty cool. Vintage Parker Jotter Advertising Pen Lot. So Parker is a, a brand of pen and some Parkers can be big money, but these are advertising pens. So they're not gonna go for as much, but they will still bring decent money. I'm trying to see where it says Parker. I don't see. But these sold for $66, 19 bids plus shipping. Again, watch for these at estate sales pick them up, hang on to them. You can lot them up. Depending on what the advertisement is, you may get more for a certain one and want to sell it individually. 1995 Complete Bluebird Poly Pocket Shooting Star Eraser Case. So we all know that um, Poly Pocket, the vintage Poly Pocket is a major bolo. So this is a little eraser case. Super cute. Sold for $102.50 and the buyer paid shipping and it had 35 bids. The next item are these Faber Castrol or Castel Peel Off Magic Rub Vinyl Eraser Stick. It's a set of 12. And these sold for $92 with three bids. Very cool. Lot of 11 Frito Lay um, pencil topper erasers. So these are little collectible erasers. And these sold for $87.87, which is amazing. And it did have free shipping. All right, here's three of those pencils, guys. And this is number one pencil. So this is not the 602. The 602 must be really special. Number one must is, this is 601 dash number one, very soft. So three pencils sold for $71 with six bids plus shipping. My Little Pony Vintage Eraser. This is from 1986. It's in the package. It's sealed. It's considered new old stock. Sold for $73 with 12 bids, buyer paid shipping. And it's even, the package is even damaged. All right, here's another one of those Frito-Lay uh, little uh, eraser tops. And this one, Sold for $36 with 14 bids plus shipping. It's one eraser top. Okay, so this is a vintage Coca-Cola Coca celluloid advertising notepad calendar. Very interesting. Very, very old. Pretty amazing, actually. Uh, sold for $188.49 with 16 bids plus shipping. Can you imagine like getting this at an estate sale and a big box of stuff and you have no idea what's in there and then it sells for $188. Awesome. And they didn't get one, but they got two. This one sold for $178.49 plus shipping. So yeah, you guys be careful what you throw away because uh, definitely, definitely things that people throw away all the time can be a bolo. The next item is this vintage notepad, Robert Conrad Ross Martin. And I think I shared this in one of my other uh, videos and I saw it again today. So I was like, you know what? This is good for this because it's unused. It's new old stock and it sold for $160.69. I would consider a notepad office supplies. So 66 bids, free shipping. Vintage Apple Computers Red Logo Notepad. This sold for $51.99 had four bids, it's unused, it's still sealed. Pretty amazing. 
And then we have this vintage advertising celluloid letter opener. And let me see if I can get you a, a full picture here. It's a letter opener, sold for $49.77, plus shipping. And there were six bids on this item. Here is a pewter letter opener, and it's got the lion on the end. And this one sold for $39 plus shipping. So if you see letter openers, look them up. You know, some do better than others, definitely. Some are just bread and butter, but definitely a fun item if you can find the right ones. Calculators, calculators, calculators. Probably the number one office supply item that you can make huge money on vintage calculators. This Hewitt, Hewlett Packard calculator sold for $1,675 plus shipping. And they started the auction at $299.95. Okay, so this one, the winner does have zero feedback. So here's what I'm going to do. It says 71B. It looks like they may have relisted. I, uh, maybe not. I can't tell. Let me check. So you can go into their feedback, and I'm just going to put 71B. No feedback. So that may have been a non-payment. I'm going to see if it's relisted. I don't see it relisted. And you can see here's where it sold. So they didn't relist it. So that's a good sign. And not everybody leaves feedback. So good chance it sold and actually they actually paid. Because it's not relisted. And that was April 11th. So it's April. So it's only April 14th. It just sold. So they probably haven't even gotten the item yet. So that's probably why there's no feedback. And I would say if they relisted it, we would have seen it in their store. So that's awesome. Here's another one. It's a Hewlett Hew, Hewlett Packard ah a scientific calculator, and it sold for three hundred and fifty seven dollars and fifty two cents plus shipping. Oh, I like that uh, username. I sold it. Here's another calculator. Again, be on the lookout for these old calculators. Sold for two hundred ninety five dollars, twenty one bids plus shipping, and it's a Woodstock model. Uh, HP calculator. This is a calculator pen, which is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. It's from Japan. It's tested and works. It sold for $122.50 with three bids and the buyer paid shipping. Boston Silver Comet Pencil Sharpener sold for $141.20 with 19 bids and the buyer paid shipping. And I just realized that it is Tuesday night and I missed the nurse flipper. Oh, I like going into her live shows. I'm going to have to go in and watch the replay. I completely forgot it was Tuesday. It is Tuesday, right? Is it Tuesday or Monday? I'm starting to like lose track of what day it is. Yes, I think it's Tuesday. Let me see. It is Tuesday. Darn it. Okay. If you haven't checked out the Nurse Flipper, go check out her channel. It's awesome. And I'm going to have to check out that replay tomorrow. All right. The last item is this vintage West Germany globe-shaped pencil sharpener. Sold for $70.99 with 32 bids. And the buyer paid shipping. So, office supplies. You guys have a new appreciation for office supplies? Crazy. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. And again, I'm only pulling up auctions. So I'm sure there are tons of buy it nows, but I like to do auctions and I'd like to pull up auctions that have a lot of bids just to show you guys um, demand for an item. So it's just how I do it. I mean, if I search solds and um, with uh, buy it now, I just don't feel like I would be giving out as accurate of information because. I wouldn't be able to verify that it actually got paid for. And there's little tricks like I showed you in this video where you can see if the item was relisted, you can see if feedback was left that kind of um, can give you hints as to whether or not the item actually got paid for. So 
as always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Have an awesome night, and I'll see you soon.